What is up guys? Welcome back to the Collector Chaos channel. Today I have a sick video on the Quid Star Trek Season 1.1. Basically the first full Trek season since they started releasing sets in batches this way with a set beginning end, set number of sets, etc. So we're going to open up a bunch of packs, claim all of the awards at the end, and let's get right into it. All of the packs correspond to episodes of Season 1 of Star Trek Picard. These are being released before Season 2 drops. Maybe it's out by the time this video is out, but not sure. So let's start with the season one episode two set three cards for one dollar This is released February 26th today So let's grab another pack or two and I'm really hoping we do get some good stuff because Star Trek is my favorite Brand probably that's on quid right now And I think I'll buy this last one on the aftermarket to complete the set off all right, let's go on to season one, episode three. The end is the beginning. This is a little better. Five cards for 50 cents, so about 10 cents a card, even though there's gonna be some filler from the Trexels base set, which is going around right now. Uh, getting one Spock here. Those are of 80,000 CC. So hopefully we don't get too many of those Trexels base cards. Aiming for more of these Picard set cards. All right, let's move on to season one, episode four, Absolute Candor. And we should get some good stuff here. Let's see, 1600, 718 is not so bad, 991, and 512, some pretty good pulls in that one. Let's try another pack, at least one more. You have my word, 1600. Uh, not the best pulls here. Oh, sick! A number 11. That's super dope. That's a really nice pull for a 10 cent card. Super sweet pull there. Stoked about that. And let's just do one more pack to finish this set off. Let's check it out. Let's see, hopefully we're getting some pretty good stuff here. 1500 about. Whoa, 33 low value. That's a pretty good one right there. Finish that set off. Nice. Now let's go to season one, episode five. Stardust Rag, and I think we'll get some good stuff. 136, right off the bat here. Okay, not the best, although I do just really appreciate these card designs nonetheless. Really cool stuff. All right, let's do one more pack to finish this set off. Crossing our fingers as always. 672 and whoa nice a 121 low value pretty good pull there all right and let's go on to episode six the impossible box grab one of these starting off with some filler unfortunately really hoping we could maybe get a uh, low but we did get a 643 feeling like we're overdue for a low value pull at this point Oh shoot, there it is. That's it guys. Number two. Number freaking two of 2,500. That is so sick. Only better thing we could have gotten is the one, so I'm stoked about that. That is all I wanted there. We got number 11, number two, and now let's skip ahead to when the awards are ready. All right, guys, we're back with the Star Trek Season 1.1 awards. They're all ready to claim. Let's go start with the first one the game award nice and we're starting strong number 72 at 535 i believe this one should have the highest cc but don't hold me to that let's go on to season one episode two if you're lucky award claim this bad boy i'm stoked about these cards Number 138, nice if you're lucky award. And I really like these card designs with the gold trim and everything, very cool. Let's claim one more here. Starfleet to the core, 258 of 324, not too good, but the CC of these are gradually getting lower and lower, increasing the value. So let's go on to episode four. Will you bind your sword to my quest? And yes, I will at 132 of 336. Awesome. That's a cool card. Let's go on to episode five. There is no solace. And what do we have here? Let's see. 234 of 328. All right. Moving on already to episode six. And what are we going to get here? The collective award. Let's claim this bad boy. 
Open her up and... Okay, nice. A 235 of 276 is pretty bad, actually. And I do see that there is a typo here on the card itself, not the title. Collective is spelled wrong. Things like that do happen on Quid, and a lot of the times they don't end up getting fixed. It's a complicated issue of reaching back out to the licensor to reissue the collectible. So it's a little bit disappointing, but I do love these award designs nonetheless. And now we were promised two mega award sets for this season. Let's jump ahead to when those are ready. All right, we're back, and we have the Hold'em Mega Award Chase for Season 1.1 of Trek. Super stoked about this. It looks like it's a multi-card award set, so let's claim this. Got all six sets done just for this to show you guys these huge awards. At least five, it looks like. Let's claim, and hopefully we get some cool stuff. All right, I'm so stoked about this. What we get? Elnor. Number 175, these are all of 272, which is pretty good, 196, and a 179 Rafi. Oh, bam, there it is, number 44 Rios, that's really good, and wow, I do like these backs. Kind of Christmas themed, it's not really Christmas right now, but that's okay. Still really cool, let's go on to the next one. Nice, even better, number 32 Soji, that's sick. Okay, guys, I'm really happy with this award pull. And number 68, 7 of 9 is pretty good too. Sweet. Oh man, and I love these cards. That 7 of 9 design is really cool. So pulling those was a real treat. Super cool to get those high value awards. Hope you guys enjoyed too. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back next week with some more quid. I'll see you then. Peace out.